Hi, this is Dr. Ayyappan Nayaj and I will be discussing the two main shoulder surgeries done for shoulder dislocations. So one would be a Bancard repair surgery, which is basically a soft tissue surgery where the torn ligaments of the shoulder are sutured back. And second is something called as the Lataje procedure. So coming to the Bancard repair surgery, so we have the shoulder which is the ball socket joint and we have the main stabilizers of the shoulder which is mainly the ligament called as the IGHL ligament, inferior lenofemoral ligament. This ligament, tear, when it tears off, it results in an injury called as bank card, injury or bank card lesion, where you can see it is torn off like this and we suture this back, the ligament and the tissues back and this is called as a soft tissue surgery or a bank card repair surgery. It is to be done in patients who are not contact athletes, not professional athletes and who have very less bone loss which usually happen, the bone loss usually happen because of a collision between the ball socket during a dislocation. So it is mostly a 30-40 minute procedure to do. It is basically three holes, small holes in the, or key holes in the shoulder and we put a camera inside, we find out where the tear is, we the it back. And patients um, require a day of admission and uh, they usually completely heal up. The tissues everything heal up in six weeks time and their rehab rotation goes on for almost two to three months and they completely recover. At the same time, if the patient is a contact athlete, an athlete and with a bone loss, so this is the socket or the ball socket and this socket is called as a glenoid. So I was mentioning earlier in another video that normally a uh, the socket or the glenoid is pear shaped. It is wider inferiorly in this, this area. And whenever there is a dislocation, it goes like this. That is, the ball goes out of the socket and comes and collides back. With this collision, there will be bone loss, which is normally estimated by a CT scan. And when the CT scan shows that it is around 15% or more, then we have to replace this bone. And we have to take, that means I have to take bone from somewhere else and replace the surface area so the surface comes back to normal. If I do a bank card repair, that is only a soft tissue repair, for this kind of bone loss, then the surgery fails. The patient can have a recurrent dislocation or a failure of a bank card surgery. So when I have this kind of bone loss, so how do I repair this or replace the bone? This is done by a technique called as Latarje procedure. So here, again, I do this as an arthroscopic Latarje procedure, a technique um, which was uh, uh, you know, invented by Dr. Lahos in France. So what he did was, we have an accessory bone here. So this is the shoulder, this is the collarbone in the front, this is the scapula or the shoulder blade which is behind, and this is the ball. You can see that there is a, there's a bone here called as the coracoid process, which is a quite a you know, prominence like this. So this is an ideal bone to be taken and put on the front of the socket. So what I do is, so this is the socket or the glenoid and this is the end on view means I am looking and the head is being or the head of the humerus or the ball is being removed. I am looking end on into the socket. And this is my coracoid process. This one, coracoid process. So I cut the coracoid process like this, tilt it, rotate it and fix it here that is in front of the socket in this area and like this so you can see that it is rotated down like that and I fix it uh, between the socket and the coracoid process fixed together by screws and this procedure is called as a Latarje. It's a wonderful procedure, advantage is that it will replace the lost bone. It also gives a sling effect. It's a, something called as a triple effect. In three different ways, the Latarje helps in stabilization of the shoulder. So extremely effective in athletes and in patients, quite contact athletes and in patients who have more than 15% bone loss.